They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Today's players from Mexico, wearing the bionic blue, it is Roberto, the bold Valadez. From Ukraine, playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States in the robust red, it's Yelena, the enforcer, Vermont. And from Germany, sporting the powerful purple, it is George, the shark, Sandel. Well, they come from all over the world to the Extreme Arena for a shot at the world title. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here today with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, it's time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo. Hello, Mike. For Mexico, it's all riding on today's game. A win will tie them in first. Germany can move into fourth, and the CIS hopes to take their first gold. Who will win our world championship? Let's get underway and find out. All right, and we're going to get underway by going to Airborne in Slamma Jamma. We're going to find out right here in this event with an elastic cord on our player's back who can thunder dunk the best. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Mike, each player will have 30 seconds to try and score as many baskets as possible, while the other two players try to reject their shot. The player with the most baskets wins. On your mark, get set. So up first will be Roberto from Mexico, going straight to the hole and putting it right off the rim, needing to finish the play on that last event. And you see he's having trouble getting back up on the aerial bridge as precious time ticks away. Roberto goes back up for another basketball. Let's see if he can finish the play stronger on that one. And the fake right there as he puts the basket through the hole. He looks like he has one, but unable to grab onto those ropes and get back up to the aerial bridge. It looks like time will run out as he dangles right there. And that will not count on that third basket because time has run out. We'll go to Mo and get the official score for Roberto. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Roberto scored one basket. So... So Roberto with one. Now we'll see what Yelena, the enforcer, we'll see what she can enforce on this one. On your mark, get set. Well, Yelena likes to swim, and she's swimming through the air right there. A rejection from Roberto. Yelena's going to have to go to the hoop a little bit stronger and finish the play, putting it through the hole right there off the rim. And a basket. She can take the lead right now. She has great rhythm. As you see her getting back up to the aerial bridge, no problem. But right there, that was George from Germany tipping it out of the basket. He's in purple. Yelena needs another to take the... Oh, and another score right there. She now takes the lead. She has time for one more. She can hit the ground and put it through strong. She goes up and right there, uncontested, scoring another basket. So... As I said, Yelena's nickname, the Enforcer. She did a good job on that. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Yelena scored two baskets, Mike. All right, two baskets, okay. So I was wrong on that one, but she is still in the lead with two over Roberto's one. We'll see what George can do from Germany. On your mark, get set. All right, one of the things you need in this event is determination. And George going right up there. He is flying sky high. Look how strong he hits the ground, goes way high above the rim. He is now tied for the lead, but having trouble right here, getting back up on the aerial bridge. Oh, precious time is ticking away. He only has 10 seconds to get the lead back. He's gonna have to go up strong, and it looks like he'll go up uncontested on that one. He takes the lead. If that is official, George is now in the lead and will take home 300 points as he puts another one through the hole. Let's go to Mo. George scored three baskets, so that puts George in first place, Yelena in second place, and Roberto in third place. Well, George's nickname is the Shark, and the other players were Shark Fate. Look at playing defense right here. We got a total player. This man was hitting the ground, and at the peak of his jump, 20 feet in the air, slamming it home, slamming jamma for George. Looks like some serious points. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to George in purple. In second place with 200 points, you see Yelana in red. And in third place with 100 points, Roberto in blue. 
and it's very simple math. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. We got white water rafting coming up, but right now, Roberto, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Roberto Valadez from Monterey, Mexico. I like basketball, but my favorite sport is soccer. Oh yeah, I also like street hockey. I'm here to take home a piece of the radical rock. I'm going to win it for my town and for Mexico. Global Guts has set up the most raging rapids, folks, to see which one of our players can withstand the pounding punishment of our most killer currents. It's white water. And ladies and gentlemen, our players will be getting in that pool to see which one from which country will be the best player in the pool. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will maneuver around the buoys and high-five the spotter to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so Roberto going into this event in third place needs a good time. Now the smart moves in this event, stamina, balance, and very tight turns. Making tight turns, especially around the buoy, saves you time and will keep your momentum moving forward. So Roberto, you see him getting his oar in through the water, fighting his way through those waves, trying not to capsize. That's where the balance comes in. He's using his balance to stay on the raft. The ra waves are trying to throw him around. He's in the corner right now. You can see the clock ticking along. He's going to have to come in and touch the spotter with a high five. That's when the clock stops. We will go to Mo and find out Roberto's official time. Roberto clocked in at 38.2. We'll see what Yelena can do. On your mark, get set. All right, well, when I spoke to Yelena the other day, she said she likes to swim, and she is in the water right now. But not swimming, she's trying to paddle her way through that water. One of her sports fantasy is to build a sports palace. Well, we've got one for her right here in the Extreme Arena. We've got white water, and she's making great time. You see the time to beat above her clock time. 38.2 is the time to beat. It looks like she may have it. We'll find out if that is official as we go to Mo. Mo. Yelena clocked in at 26.6 seconds, Mike. George is up next. He's our leader. On your mark, get set. All right, well, the shark is in the water again. It looks like this man from Germany is a powerful man. Look at the shark coming across. Oh, people. Let's go to Mo and find out if that's official. George clocked in at 10.5 seconds, so that puts George in first place, Yelena in second place, and Roberto in third place. Ladies and gentlemen, that is one of the fastest times I have ever seen. You see Roberto right here. He was the first player to take on the waves, losing his balance a little bit to show how tough those waves are. But the shark, taken to this water just like a shark, nothing in his way, nothing is going to stop this man with his game face on. Look at the determination as this guy touches in. One of the fastest times I've ever seen. Let's go to Mo right now. Check out our leaderboard now. Mo. After two events, George from Germany is in the lead with 600 points. In second place is Yelena with 400 points. In third place, Roberto with 200 points. We are all done with this rap, ladies and gentlemen. And we come back, our players out of the pool and in a basic train. Nothing basic about it. It's going to be brutal. Don't throw in the towel. We'll be back. All right, welcome back to Global Guts. We got a little athletic party going on here, folks. We got two more events before the Super Agro Crag. But right now, she's come all the way from Ukraine. Yelena, the enforcer, spill your guts. But more than anything, I love riding my bike. When I grow up, I want to be a translator. I'm very happy to be here in America and compete in Global Guts. People here have great attitudes and they're always smiling. How do you train an army of athletes to get ready for Global Guts?
that's well. Very simple. Basic training, folks. Our player is going to be going through this next event, and there's nothing basic about it. Up the cargo net, and then across the monkey bridge, all over to that platform, and down the fire pole. Out of the fire pole, into the tire crawl. they got to shoot through that tunnel, and then right back up that wall climb. Grab onto that rope, run across that platform, swing across the Tarzan rope, and then boom, jump right into that landing pad. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. My girl, players are time from the starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Okay, Roberto from Mexico in blue. He'll be the first player to take on basic training. Roberto's nickname is Bold, and he's in from the cold and setting fire to the basic training course. Down that fire pole, he's going to set the pace here. We got a very quick start. This man is fast. This man is very fast. He goes up the wall climb. He knows he needs a good first place finish in this one to be back into it before we get to bullseye. And then the super aggro crag into the landing pad. That'll stop the clock. We'll go to Mo and find out what Roberto's official time was. Mo. Roberto clocked in at 26.5 seconds, Mike. Yelena, she just spilled her guts. Now she's ready to run. On your mark, get set. All right, Yelena, her nickname is the Enforcer, and she has come all the way from Ukraine to inscribe her name on the glowing rock. Now let's see if she can enforce a little speed limit on herself. Or if that atomic energy is going to power down itself down the fire pole. You see above her time, the time to beat is 26.5. Getting through the tire crawl and rolling out. It doesn't look like she will beat Roberto's time. So she's going for second place points right here. Having a little bit of struggle as she gets up the wall climb, but across the Tarzan rope. And as she goes in, the clock will stop. And we'll go to Mo and find out if that time is official. Mo. Yes, Yelena clocked in at 35.4 seconds. That was Yelena. We'll see what the shark can do in this event. On your mark, get set. All right, folks, that is George the Shark from Germany. The last two events, mere minnow food for the shark. We're talking global guts plankton for the man who has a perfect game on the line in this event. Now, you saw his upper body strength and balance in white water, his lower body strength and power in slam and jam. Here's a little combo platter for the shark man. He's got to open his jaws, take a bite out of time. Let's find out if that's official mode. Yes, Mike. George clocked in at 21.8 seconds. That puts George in first place, Roberto in second place, and Yelena in third place. All right, folks. Well, in basic training, this is when the body gets bombarded with the basic speed, agility, raw energy, and power into the landing pad. Roberto with a powerful second place time. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now. Mo. Well, George has a perfect score of 900 points and is in the lead. In second place is Yelena with 500 points. In third place, Roberto with 400 points. Well, folks, one more event to go, and the shark didn't get caught in the net. No, he shook the hook, folks. And let's find out what makes German sensation George the Shark Sandil become a contender for a world title. Spill your guts. Hi, I'm George Sandel from Mainz, Germany. After school, I skateboard with my friends or play basketball if the weather is good. I love heavy metal music. Global Guts isn't just about winning. It's about meeting other kids and having fun. It's time for our world-class sharp shooting super sport bullseye, folks. Well, you think Robin Hood, he was pretty good in the Sherwood Forest, but you think he could jump up high over the forest and shoot these targets? I don't think so. Let's strap on a bungee cord, little elastic sports. Let's go to Mo for the rules for bullseye. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a crossbow, jump off the aerial bridge, and shoot as many arrows as possible in 60 seconds. All arrows that stick to the target will be counted. The player with the most bullseyes wins. On your mark, get set. Okay, so as our players get ready for their second Elastic Sports event today, looks like Roberto with one. 
in the target. He needs a good score in this one. He goes into this event in third place. And you see Yelena, she has 500 points going into this final event. And there is George, who has a perfect score on the line. He looks to have three targets, three arrows, I'm sorry, in the target right now. Roberto, a third one right there. And Yelena with two. Now, folks, the smart moves on this event control timing and good aim. As you see, Roberto and George both going up and looks like George keeping in sync with his perfect game, has terrific timing. He's filling up the target, but so is Roberto. They look very close as 15 seconds left in the clock. It's counting down just over 10 seconds left. Great aim for all of our players in the event. Sticking those targets with as many arrows as they can. Time is running out. As you see, one second left. Roberto with another one. Let's go to Mo for the official results. Mo. Hey, Mike, both Roberto and George scored eight bullseyes, putting them in first place, tied in first place. And Elena scored five bullseyes, putting her in third place. Take a look at the replay. Yelena, all the way from Ukraine, to show us how she controls her body in this event and showing what a great athlete she is. Getting down all the elements right there, folks. And great efforts on all of our players on Bullseye. And yesterday we spoke to these players about what it takes to be a world champion. Take a look at this. Uh, looks like they're resting a little bit. We better wake them up. Hey, guys, wake up! We're trying to show the people at home what you do, you know, your game faces. How about showing them what you do? Yeah! Yeah! And so after that event, the competition becomes even tighter, or should I say the perfect game on the line right there. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard standings. Mo. Hey, Mike, after four events, George is still in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Roberto with 700 points. In third place, Yelena with 600 points. So, folks, the chips are down. History in the making. When we come back, we'll see which country's flag will be stuck in the crags. Stick around. Global Guts and bang, we're right back into the main action, folks. The crack coming up. Points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo, see where we stand. Mo. In the lead is George from Germany with 1,200 points. In second place, Roberto from Mexico with 700 points. In third place, Yelena from the Ukraine with 600 points. Let's look at where they stand now. Let's take a look at how they got there. You take a look at Roberto going up strong. Great leaping ability with the hesitation. And then, boom, putting it down. That's George with a little defense. And Yelena with a little offense. Also putting the ball through the hoop on that one. Yelena in the pool for white water. Trying to make her way around those waves. Had a little bit of trouble right there in this event. George the Shark was in shark-infested waters. He took to that water, man, and he took home a game face and 300 points for first place right there. Over the Monkey Bridge, Roberto. We call it Monkey Bridge because you can slip, yeah, just like on a banana peel. Boom, right across that and continuing his way down. That's George through the tire crawl, attacking just like the shark would attack and up the wall climb, and then in our final event, Bullseye, all three of our players raining arrows all over their targets. Great work for all of our players. A lot of competition yet to come, though, folks, because we are now at the crag. Used to be the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll on top of our players. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you my mo. Move. 
Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title and global guts glory. Let's get it started. Kick it off, Bo. On your mark, get set. And so, with that whistle, our players begin the climb. A perfect game on the line for George. If he can get to the top of that mountain first, he'll become a world champion with a perfect score. As you see, the boulders come raining down on George. That means he's in the lead first. He's way up the side of that mountain on the right in purple. Roberto on the left in blue. The boulders come down on him. And Yelena in third. But it looks like George all alone at the top of the mountain. If that's official, he'll lock in with the perfect game. The boulders now come raining down on Yelena. And from Mexico, Roberto in the left in blue. They're fighting it out for the silver medal right now. Roberto going up the ice wall, locking in in second. And Yelena in red will lock in on third. Let's go to Mo. Mo! In first place on the Super Agro Crank, George in purple. In second place, Roberto in blue. In third place, Yelena in red. Perfect game was on the line and it was delivered as you watch Yelena climbing up the crag and hitting her first actuator, trying to keep her poise as she climbed all the way up the top. But this event right here was all George's. The snow came dumping down right there on Roberto as our main man, George, from Germany, locking in at the top of the crag, placing the purple flag from Germany as number one. And we're going to go to the leaderboard for the final results. Let's check it out now. Mo. Here they are, Mike, the crag deciding it again. In third place today with 925 points, Yelena from the Ukraine. In second place with 1,250 points, Roberto from Mexico. Our winner today, George from Germany with 1,925 points. All right, folks. So we are now hearing the national anthem of Germany because in first place, with 1,925 points, receiving the Crag Trophy, a glowing piece of our radical rock. Ladies and gentlemen, the bronze goes to Yelena from Ukraine. The silver will go to Roberto from Mexico. And as I said, the national anthem of Germany in first place, a perfect game, a world champion here at Global Guts, receiving the Crag Trophy, a glowing piece of our radical rock, Germany's very own George the Shark Sandel. The Shark came to the Extreme Arena and showed the folks here how Germany's best comes to compete. Coming to play here in the Extreme Arena, some fantastic playing by all three of our athletes. And he certainly is number one here today, folks. As they make their way around the Extreme Arena and wrap their flags around their bodies, the Extreme Arena shows their appreciation for these fantastic athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, no ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. 